more on Facebook. I know it's super early, but this is something I really need to talk about. And this is something that a lot of you are wondering as well. I mean, a lot of you are wondering, and I know that. A lot of you are wondering, you know, why am I not assigned to a professional record label? And I've been wondering that since I got told that I need to be signed. And for those of you supporting me, I thank you guys. Like I said, I know it's early, but I was sick and death and tired of hiding the truth from you guys. See, every day I get asked why I'm not assigned to a professional record label. Why am I not making money off my music? Why am I not performing like I need to be? Like, why is it that I'm stuck in the same position all the time with no traction and no movement? You guys want someone to blame for that? Blame the mainstream music industry. They're the reason that I'm not signed. And a lot of people don't know this. They don't know what I go through every day. So let me tell you what I go through every day. Every day I sit down, I record my songs. I bust my ass, writing them, recording them, tearing them down and building them back up so I get them right. Every day, that is my life. Even when I'm playing video games and chilling with my friends on Xbox One, I'm usually listening to instrumentals to get ideas for every fucking day, nonstop. I am busting my ass 24-7, 365. And when I say 365 days a year, I mean 365 days a year, 24 hours a fucking day, seven days a week, every day. I am constantly writing and coming up with ideas. And you guys want to know why I'm not signed by any of these major labels or even an independent label? I know it sounds stupid. I know it sounds petty. But it's because I have no money. And it's because of the fact that they don't like my appearance. And they don't like the message that I put out. They'd rather me put out some bullshit fucking garbage ass rap about gangs, drugs, and drive-bys. Rather than talk about real fucking shit. Real shit that needs to be spoken about. Real shit. Like that girl that gets raped. About people that get killed. And what it's like to go through that pain. What it's like to be on the edge of sanity and hitting your breaking point And not knowing how to survive it. Being on the edge of suicide. And how to prevent it. If anybody's heard my music, you guys know that I talk about very real issues. Because I know what it's like to be mentally and verbally abused. I know what it's like to be on the edge of suicide. I know what it's like to go mentally insane. I know what it's like to be raped. I know what it's like to have your best friend die right there in front of you. I know what it's like to face death every fucking day of the week. Because I live that shit every day. But instead of wanting to hear about that and trying to save someone's life, they'd rather hear this cookie cutter bullshit rap that every other fucking artist out there is talking about. And I'm sorry that I don't have money, but I'd rather have no money and put out a good message. So you guys want somebody to blame? Blame the fucking mainstream music industry for me not getting anywhere. Instead of 
allowing me to put out my music my way. You guys want to control me and make me into something that I'm not. You guys would rather sit there and belittle me and discriminate against my physical appearance. Instead of shutting your fucking mouths for five fucking seconds and opening your goddamn ears to my music and listening to the message behind it, you sit there and you discriminate against me. And I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of being belittled and I'm sick to fucking death of being discriminated against by every single one of you mainstream motherfuckers out there that feels like they're better than me when they're just some rich ass little motherfucker with their pockets full of cash because that's what it takes to shut them the fuck up. And you guys think you're being fair by discriminating against people like me? Yeah, I would admit, I may be special needs at a certain degree. Yeah, I may be half blind. But you know what? I don't let that fucking stop me for shit. I bust my ass every fucking day of the week trying to save that one kid's life that's on the edge of suicide. Telling that one kid that's super depressed because of the shit that they're going through, because they're being verbally or mentally or physically abused. I write those songs for those people in hopes that they will be okay and hopes that I can possibly save their life. But instead of letting someone like me come along who's got real talent and save someone's life, you'd rather be about the money and turn people like me into people that were not. You'd rather talk about gangs, drugs, drive-bys, and bullshit that don't need to be talked about. And to the parents out there that have kids that are into this shit, you guys wonder why your kids are turning out the way they are? It's because they're favorite fucking rappers talking about gangs, drugs, and drive-bys, and getting laid, and killing people every day. That's why your kids are turning out the way they are. There's your answer right there. The mainstream fucking industry with these fucking rappers talking about bullshit that don't need to be talked about. So to every parent out there that has a kid To every fucking parent out there that has a kid that's listening to this bullshit garbage, take that shit away from them. Turn them to real music. Turn them to real music like mine. Turn them to guys like my buddies, Cryptic Wisdom. Turn them to guys like NK47. Turn them to guys like Crucifix. To real people that can actually help them. And set them on the right path. Yeah, some of my songs may be dark, but you know what? They present a serious message in each and every song. In every song I write, like my newest one called I Don't Care, I talk about one of my exes and how she did me wrong and how I felt during that time. I talk about how hurt I was and how badly I wish that she would have died because of the hell that she put me through during that time period, during when I was being mentally abused and verbally abused. I talk about shit like suicide because I know what it's like to be on the edge of suicide. I'm on the edge of that shit almost every day because of you mainstream motherfuckers. But yet, I don't give in to it. Why? Why don't I give into it, you ask? Because I know I have lives to save. I know I have people to help through my music, and that's what drives me. My fans, the people that enjoy my music, those that support me, those kids that are on the edge of suicide, that are being bullied, that are being belittled by people like you in society is what drives me to keep going. So like I said, 
Everyone wants to know why I'm not assigned to a mainstream record label or a professional record label. Now you guys know the truth. It's because nobody wants to sign me because I have no money and because of my physical appearance. And is that fair that I get discriminated against? No, it's not. But yeah, I get that every day. See, what you mainstream assholes don't understand is that while your fucking bullshit rappers are sleeping at night, I'm putting in hard-ass work. When your boy's out on vacation, balling out, taking a break, having fun, I'm working my ass off. I'm writing and recording 24-7, 365. That says he puts in hard work, he's taking a break. I'm putting in double the work. I'm pushing myself that much further. And you think what you guys do is fair by making people like me pay you, the mainstream industry that should be paying your artists, us, to be signed. You think what you're doing is fair by making us pay you to be signed? You think that's fair? You think that's fair to people like me that don't have any money, that don't have anything? See, what you guys don't realize is I don't have the luxury of having a regular job. I don't have the luxury of having any money. I'm lucky if any of my artwork that I do sells for five bucks a piece. And the reason why I don't have the luxury of having any money is because I have to stay home and take care of my mother who was hit by a car two years ago because she can barely make it up and down the stairs at night. What do you know about that? What do you know about not having any money? What the fuck do you mainstream assholes know about what it's like to watch your own mother suffer in pain as she walks up and down the stairs barely able to make it? Because some asshole decided to fucking run them over. What do you know about just barely getting by on bills? Well, you fat ass motherfuckers sit in your fucking chairs and do nothing at all. There's people out there like me every fucking day busting our asses, booking shows, doing shit that we need to do. While you sleep all comfy in your bed. See, while motherfuckers like you sleep comfy in your beds, this is where people like me fucking sleep. On the fucking couch. Every goddamn night. Busting our asses. Doing what we have to do. And do I give a fuck if I sleep on the couch? Not at all. I actually find it comfortable. But my point is, there are people like me out there, they're amazing at what they do. And a lot of them I know personally. A lot of people like my best friend and brother. A lot of people like some of my brothers, like Marcus Morales, Ian Duxworth, Aiden Schroeder, Eric Scrubbelow, Smiley J. Elucidus. People like that deserve to be signed because we have real messages to put out. People like my good friend NK47. People like Cryptic Wisdom. People like my buddy Lil Scam or PFV. They deserve to be signed. Just as much as I do. Because they have real shit to talk about. They have real messages to put out. And yeah, what do I get in return for all my hard work? Being discriminated against and torn down every fucking day to the point to where half the time I want to quit. But I don't quit. I don't let myself do that. 
I don't let myself give into that shit. Because I know that there's a kid out there that needs my fucking help. I know there's a kid out there that's on the edge of suicide that wants to give up so bad. Because he feels like he's the only one. Because he feels like no one cares. I know what that's like because I've been there. I've been there so many times in my life. So instead of you mainstream motherfuckers judging people like me by appearance, why don't you shut your fucking mouths for a second and listen to the fucking lyrics in the song and try to understand the meaning behind it? How about that? How about you shut your fucking mouths and listen to the music and stop judging by appearance, but start judging by the music? And stop making motherfuckers pay that don't have money. When we don't have money, we shouldn't have to pay. Especially when you're in a situation like mine, when you just barely get by on bills month to month. So while you fat ass motherfuckers sit in your goddamn high end fucking mansions and chairs, not doing a damn thing, making big money, there are people like me struggling every fucking day, just trying to make it for their family, trying to make it so their family doesn't have to fucking suffer on just getting by on bills. You guys were there once too, and you guys know it. And yet you guys lose sight of that shit. Well, let me tell you something. I never once forgot where I came from. I never once forget a single person that supports my work. Every fucking day, I make sure to thank every single person that supports me. So you think that you're being fair by charging artists to be signed? Let me tell you something. Paying you guys to sign artists like me? That ain't fair. You guys making us pay is like us paying our bosses for us to work. It makes no sense. The paying the artist to be signed, it needs to stop. When did it start becoming about the money and not about the music? When did being about the music stop? When did it start becoming about money? That's what I don't understand. There are people like me that struggle every fucking day that deserve a fair chance. I have played show after show after show with people telling me how good I am and appreciating what I do. I have people that I, that I don't even know coming out to me every day when I go to the store telling me how much they enjoy my music or how much my music's helped them. And do you know how good that makes me feel to hear that my music helped someone? Do you even know what that's like? To have a kid that's on the edge of suicide or somebody that's been verbally and mentally abused telling you that your song has helped them get through that? Or that your song has helped them deal with the death? No, you don't. Because you motherfuckers don't give two shits. You don't care about anybody but yourselves and it makes me sick. You guys fucking disgust me. Every single one of you mainstream motherfuckers disgust the hell out of me to no end. And the fact that you have the balls to discriminate against me and discriminate any artist that works so fucking hard to get to where they want to be.
where is that fair to them or to me or to anyone that you discriminate against? It's not fair. The paying the record labels to have the artists be signed, that needs to stop. And the discrimination and the hatred and the bigotry and the selfishness, that needs to end. You guys need to start shutting your fucking mouths and start opening your ears and listening to what real artists like me have to say. Because your mainstream bullshit rappers, they don't deserve to be signed. They really don't deserve that. Because they don't know what it's like to struggle. They don't know what it's like to be where I'm at. So to the mainstream industry, I say this. Kiss my fucking ass, you pieces of shit. Because until you change your fucking ways, that's all any of you mainstream motherfuckers will ever be is nothing but bullshit to me. I would rather remain underground with people that enjoy my music than to be signed by mainstream motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about anybody but their goddamn selves. So like I said, until you change your ways, you guys can go fuck yourselves. Until you mainstream industries stop discriminating, I will not stop bashing on you and I will not stop calling you out. Every chance that I get, I will do it continuously and continue on to do it. Until you guys fucking learn that you need to stop. Because you're messing with people's lives. Not just their feelings, but you're messing with their lives. When you discriminate against someone like me, you don't know whether that person's on the edge of suicide. You don't know whether their music is their only escape. Because all you care about is money. You give zero fucks about anyone's lives. You don't care who you hurt. You don't care who lives or dies. All you give a fuck about is your money. And that's what's so fucking sickening to me. Is the fact that all you guys give a fuck about is your goddamn money. You guys make me fucking sick. So with that being said, guys, I love every single one of you guys. And like I said, if you want someone to blame for me not being signed to a professional label, blame the mainstream industry. They're to blame. They're the ones at fault. And to all my supporters, I thank every single one of you guys. You guys are fucking amazing. And you guys mean more to me than you guys fucking know. I might not say hi to every single one of you every day. I might not say what's up to every single one of you. But every single fucking one of you means everything to me. And don't you fucking forget that.